hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video i am going to be sharing with you some very useful tips on how to properly introduce your pets specifically dogs to your children this information is coming from a canine behaviorist never knew they exist and what prompted me to share this video was based off of the previous video that i uploaded on a woman who was trying to save her children's lives. She was desperately trying to save her children's lives after being attacked by some pit bulls, which were her pets. So I noticed that people were leaving comments saying what they could have done, what they should have done. The woman should be locked up because of neglect and so many different you know, child endangerment. But a lot of times people just don't know. They don't know the proper way. They just don't know. So I feel like this video will be very helpful for anyone whether you have pets or not, thinking about it, I think this video will be very useful on some steps to follow as it relates to how to properly introduce your children to your dogs, especially if they're going to be around them. If you want your children to be around them, this is very important to know this information. And um, so that's what prompted me to share. So again, this is coming from a canine behaviorist. And um, this video, it doesn't end here. I mean, definitely do your research. Definitely, like I said, if you're going to have the dogs around, it's very important as the owner to take full responsibility and to do the proper steps to make sure that not only you are safe, but your entire family is safe and especially your children. So again, I just want to leave you all with this. Thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you in the next one. Along. The author of Dog Friendly Dog Training has some suggestions for us. Andrea Arden is a dog morning. Candy Ionelli and her son Nicholas, along with Gretzky, a Boston Terrier, which, Candy, you had to after you had him for seven years because he and Nicholas were just not getting along. So, so the first question to you then, Andrea, is when, and, and I went through this, I have a big 85-pound mutt and a little boy who's almost two. When do you begin the process for the dog of letting them know someone else is coming in? Things are changing. <laughs> you start as soon as possible. You know, if you find out you're pregnant and you have a dog who hasn't had a lot of exposure to children, what you need to say is that you want to have as many months as possible to get the dog used to what are surely going to be lots of changes in their routine. Around children so that the dog is used to it. What about that, that old adage, I guess, that you hear, bring the, we did this, you bring, the, you bring the blanket home from the hospital before you come home with the baby so the dog can smell it. It can't hurt, but that's a very, very small thing to do to make, you know, the dog feel comfortable. What's more important is to make sure that you get the dog used to understanding that, for example, if you're sitting on the couch and holding the baby, maybe the dog used to be able to jump on the couch and jump all over you, but that's not going to happen anymore. And it's good to make those changes before the baby comes home, so it's exactly. not everything yes. at once. I, I know the, the problem in our house, too, and my husband says sometimes I'm projecting, but I, I look at these big sweet brown eyes in my dog and I think oh he's sad and he's jealous and he and he and he doesn't understand and I can't really speak to him do dogs do dogs really get jealous you know I think it's important to understand the dog's motives you know jealousy is a human emotion I think a better way of looking at it a more realistic way is that dogs just like us find that resources that are valuable to them should be guarded so for example you're probably valuable to your dog the couch is probably valuable a food bowl is so it's understandable if those things become in more limited supply when a child comes around the dog will probably guard them more now with the child and it's you know nicholas is three he's a typical yes. toddler he's running around he's very busy very and so is that I, I imagine that was maybe part of the problem that he was all over the place and he wanted to like hug the dogs and just really play with them rough house so we figured um, you know, he started growling, the dog started growling at him. So we figured that the best way to deal with it is to just give the dogs up and my sister actually took them in. Okay. Is that the best way to deal with it? Just as soon as there is a problem, let's separate the two? Separating the two is, is actually a very good idea. We call it management. That's, that's severe separation, <laughs> saying that in this situation we just don't think it's appropriate. I think that was a courageous decision. I think that she actually, we've talked a little bit about it, that she really felt that that was the safest option. But you can also use management tools in the home to keep the dog in your family. Management like crate, the dog mm -hmm. can have a quiet spot to go rest for short periods of time. Um, an exercise pen, which is a long-term confinement area. And keeping the dog on a leash at all times when around the child is really important indoors so that you can make sure that the interactions are controlled. Okay, now what about when it comes to the child? Do you think Nicholas understands that he can't just grab the dog whenever he wants? Not at his, at his age, no. I don't think he really fully understands. He thinks that they're his playmates. 
they, he thinks that they're friends and like family that he can just rough ass with them anytime he wants. Right. So there's a little bit of training we need to do as parents too, just like we would with our dog, with our children. Absolutely. You need to teach the child how to have proper interactions. A really good example of that, it's so simple. You see it on lots of different TV shows about different nannies and what have you, is get yourself a little place mat. It can be a mouse pad, it can be something like this. Teach Nicholas to sit on it. Okay. That's his spot. Then you take the dog, you tie the dog just out of his reach, and that's, and that's the spot that. where Nicholas gets to sit to interact with the dog. Letting them each have their own space. Candy, exactly. Ionelli, yeah. Nicholas, Gretzky, 